Oh, let's see here. Maybe since that's finally been lifted. And get some creative juices back again. Oh, hello folks. Welcome back for I am the one and the only I am a hobo Tom. And yes, it's finally passed. So I can hit my music. Yes, my copyright suspension is done and over with. I'm happy about that. I have learned my lesson. Um, that's bad news for you guys, though. Because mainly, oh, there's a hobo cat coming into the screenshot. No, we'll get some outside time soon. I have to make video first. But yes, bad news is my copyright suspension has been lifted. I am free to live stream. The bad news is, is that I've totally learned my lesson. I do not trust any televised content from any wrestling promotion. That's AEW. WWE. I've never trusted WWE. Impact. Even AAA. Boo AAA. Wait, they have a show coming up in a month. So I don't know. We'll see. So unfortunately for you guys, that means zero video content. Unless, like, something amazing happens. Like, Mickey James loses her top. I might have to show that. And I have to be a little bit careful with the audio content. I do want to have this screen going and that computer. Well, you can't see it, but I have another laptop over there. Um, mainly because, again, Mickey James loses her top. You guys deserve to see that. <laughs> Even though that would get me banned for life. I almost don't care by now. Um, honestly, some of the TV content, AEW, besides when certain personalities, CM Punk's not, not, not there anymore. I mean, MJF is good. They, they'll occasionally have some good matches. Most of them are B-show stuff. Live is a totally different beast, though, for some reason. Uh, NXT is becoming more and more unwatchable. It's, it's, it's getting a little rougher around the edges. WWE is surprisingly pretty good, though. Again, you have the whole shift with Vince McMahon to Paul Levesque. Oh, she loves out there. Impact's consistent. I'll give Impact this much. I, even, though, even though I haven't watched much Impact, mainly because I've been trying to get a lot healthier. And I got over allergies. Allergies suck. You just feel all messed up. Um, Impact also changed their schedule to having their pay-per-views or whatever they call them, specials. On Friday nights, which is weird because that interferes with SmackDown, interferes with gym time. So I've changed up my gym schedule, so we'll see how that works. But yeah, other than that, let's. So that's all the nonsense garbage out of the way. Let's talk about this Friday, Victory Road Impact Wrestling. Um, I should be up live streaming. I do have to make graphics. I haven't made graphics in a while. That will, of course, be a beer night. Should that be beer night? No, that's red wine and pizza day. Ooh. That's my red wine and pizza stuff. Indeed, I don't think I've ever done that. Because when Impact went to Fridays, that was just, that threw me off. Let's go over this card and in no particular order. So this is... Oh yeah, K-Hart. I have to make, I have to make so many wrestlers too. I have to make K-Hart. Yeah, so here's the list. K-Hart... What did I say? <laughs> it was just funny. Yeah, I'm making this video kind of early-ish. Kind of still stretching a little bit. So this is Victory Road. Um, I may or may not make a graphic for it. I'll see how I, I'll see how I feel about that. Uh, first match, we probably have Killer Kelly versus Tasha Steeles. Killer Kelly's going to win that match. That's easy. This one I'm torn on. Oh, let's see here. 
What's my snooze match? Yeah, that's gonna be my snooze match. You know what this match is? Killer Kelly's gonna win. That's the only thing that's guaranteed. That is also gonna be my stone cold lock of the night. And I'm kind of torn on this one. Mickey James versus Gazelle Shaw. This seems a little... T a couple things. Gazelle Shaw is an up-and-coming star. Mickey James is talking about retirement. Mickey James should really retire. If she's going to do the last rodeo thing, she really should give it all up. <laughs> she should give it all up. Yeah. Oh, that, sounds, that sounded terrible. But yeah, she should really lose and retire then after she loses to like a champion, I think. I mean, that seems the proper way to do stuff. I think at least according to my ideas. With that being said, Gazelle Shaw she could impact the most from winning. I'll say Gazelle Shaw wins. So yeah. Then we have Heath Slater, Josh Alexander, and Rich Swan taking on Honor No More, which consists of the Kingdom of the Miracle, Mike Bennett, Matt Tavin, and Eddie Edwards. You know what? Whenever I've chosen against Honor No, Honor no More, they always win. I've learned my lesson, folks. Honor No More is going to win. Let's see here. Still have... Yeah, because that's snooze. I'll tell you what. Oh, no. That's the Sammy Callahan match. It was always freaky. This was almost going to be my match tonight. This is going to be a good match, though. It's Alex A. It's for... To see who faces... It's the six pack revolver challenge. I have no idea what that is. I think it's just a six six person elimination match. I think. So we have Alex Zane versus Black Taurus versus Mia Yim versus Frankie Kazarian versus Kenny King versus Laredo Kid versus Trey Miguel versus Yuya. Uemura. I butchered that last name. I apologize so much. I haven't followed New Japan in a while. Mainly because New Japan's on at super weird hours. You know what? Trey Miguel seems too obvious. Because he always challenges. I'll say Alex Zane. Alex Zane wins. Um, then what I think is going to be a fun match. Mainly because... Ah, 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 uh, it's gonna be Mike Bailey, Speedball Mike Bailey versus Delirious. I know I'm gonna lose. And Delirious puts himself up. You know what? I hate to say this, folks. I'm split. My mind says Mike Bailey. And I'm going to go with Mike Bailey. Mainly because Mike Bailey versus Alex Zane, I think, would be an amazing matchup. At um, Bound for Glory. I think that's their major pay-per-view coming up next month. I want so much to see Delirious win, though. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrestle, wrestle. Princess Peach is a tramp. Best. Oh. Delirious is so good talking, though. I hate this. Have you guys? Have you guys ever been torn? Your 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 mind says one hundred percent this is gonna happen. Your heart really wants this to happen. Ah. 
Mike Bailey wins. And I'm just going to move on. To the ma match I'm going to take a, a nap through. Probably sober up a little bit through. And that's going to be Jordan Grace versus Maxine Impaler. Never heard of Maxine Impaler. Although, the Demon Deacon James Mitchell is back. Which is always good. Jordan Grace is going to retain her belt. She's not losing that until Masha Slamovich like, destroys her next month. So yeah, that's going to happen. Oh yeah, you can see the door of wrestling. I still have to put up... Actually, this has been sitting here for a while. I have to put this card up there somewhere. Team Vision Dojo. I don't know. I just like putting these up on the door. Where would this go? Oh yeah, under the... See, these are good. These are like just free stuff. I like free stuff. I should have gotten a selfie with her though. Darn it, I can't, can't believe I forgot my cell phone that day. She was hot too. But then out of the ring, she looked like she was 19. <laughs> to be fair, the other one looked like she was 15, so. Yeah. Um, that's a whole other issue. Yeah, that's a previous video I did when they came to the Volusia Mall. Hey, free show. Then let's see here. So yeah, I'm going to sleep through that. Jordan Grace is going to win. That's my snooze. Just take a nap. Relax. Reload. Whatever. And then finally, my match of the night. We have... Moose. 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 From Moose Nation. Taking on the Death Machine. Sammy Callahan. Versus Steve Macklin. And a barbed wire metal mayhem match. I think. It's a Sammy Callahan match in Moose. I don't even care about Steve Macklin being there. Moose versus Sammy Callahan. Wow. Again, this is my match of the night. I'm so torn. I think they're going to do big stuff. I think Sammy Callahan's going to win. So mainly, he might... There might be... Uh, it, it, this, this, is just, this just sets up for a... This is just a setup for a Sammy Callahan style match. And then you can move on. You can have, as an undercard match, you could have Moose versus Steve Macklin at Bound for Glory. Or Steve Macklin pin, pin, um, eats the pin from Sammy Callahan. Moose says, Hey, Sammy, you never beat me. So, yeah. So, a couple different things. I'm saying Sammy Callahan. My brain, my heart says Sammy Callahan. My brain says Moose or Sammy Callahan. Steve Mack is not even a consideration in this. But yeah, I'll just say Sammy Callahan. And that's Victory Road. So yep, so I will be airing this. Or I'll be going live Friday. So I have to get stuff done Friday. I'm trying to think. What TV shows come up Friday? Oh, wait. Was that Monday? No. Friday's second part of the Peacekeeper. War. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that works out. Today's the last one. Wait a second. I don't know. I just might get to the gym early. Get to the gym early and just do stuff like a normal human being for a change. Other than that, I like the. Thank everyone for watching. Um, I'll let you guys know if I go to any live events eventually. I do have to start looking up stuff. I know NXT, for the most part, is on the west coast of Florida. Yeah, I'm not driving all the way up there. Necessary. I'm not I'm never going to Dade City again. That's not happening. Out there is just, you know, Kyle is kind of far. So yeah, so we told to get back to the East Coast, Jacksonville. I think I was just I was in the middle of, I think I was just getting cured of sniffleitis. So that was last week. 
Yeah, my allergies was just like came in for a week. And that was just weird. I guess because it's done nothing but rain. Today it's been sunny. Th oh, that's right. Thursday I'm going fishing. I don't know. Maybe I'll show you guys. A, maybe I'll make a fishing video for you guys. Should show you how Hobo Tom gets his dinner. But yeah. Um, I have no idea. But yeah, that's it for now. I gotta have to thank everyone for watching. Thank you, my loyal supporters, for hanging with me through this rough period of time. Um, yeah, that sounds good. I want to say it was depressing. It was actually kind of a nice break because I'm like, I'm not doing anything for a while. I get to relax. Although I, I will say this, the good wrestling, even though most of the wrestling on TV is kind of bad, live events they, they still have a special vibe to them. Um, there's, there is something about going to a live event, and I know I'll clean you up, my little fuzzy key, my, my fuzzy cat. I don't think she's a kitten anymore. She's getting old, even even the vet stage, so she's kind of old, there she is, slinking away towards the door of wrestling. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to thank everyone for watching, thank you guys for your, all your support, morally, and talking otherwise, it's always good to hear. Um... See, what else is it? Oh, that's it. So, yeah, you'll see me Friday. I don't know, I have to figure out when that show comes up. There will be some other videos I'll be posting. Uh, mainly, I'm going to be working, I think, a little bit at the racetrack. I think this month they have some fair coming for like 10 days. I don't know if they do that in the parking lot or if they do that inside. Um, what else is there? Ah, a bunch of stuff. I don't know. I'll figure out something. Other than that, I don't know. There's an art walk. There's a bunch of stuff in October. I might begin to, to diversify stuff. Show off more women's asses. That always got some views. <laughs>